YouTube beer review. And we're going local. Sweet baby Jesus, we got a local beer for you tonight. And wait a minute. I know of a beer that's named Sweet Baby Jesus that Duclaw Brewing Company out of Abingdon, Maryland, U.S. of A. makes. And it's 6.5% ABV and 53 IBUs and it's a chocolate peanut butter porter and damn, it's right here. We're ready to drink it, aren't we? Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Duclaw's new seasonal Sweet Baby Jesus. And this beer is kind of cool because it came out of their Hero program, which is it's a combination of a homebrew competition that they have every year. This is the um, 2011 homebrew winner. And also a charity event. When they put this out originally, for when it's after the homebrew guy wins, it's in Bombers. And if people like it enough, that, then they put it in 12 ounces. Okay? But all the proceeds from the Bombers go to charity. Dude, that's freaking awesome, guys. Give them back to the community. That's why we think globally and we drink locally. Because our local brewers give back to the freaking community. They make jobs. They give money to charity, man. That's why. And you know what? Who cares if they get rich while they're doing it? If they're giving back to the community and they're helping other people, that's what we want. That's how capitalism works, isn't it? Hmm. Ah, how beer can save the world. Anyway, that's another video. And so tonight, we got the Sweet Baby Jesus Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter by Duclaw Brewing. And as you can see by my glass, we have our Sweet Baby Jesus glass. And we have our Sweet Baby Jesus button that we can wear on our our shirt or our jacket or something like that. And we got this at the Sweet Baby Jesus release party. They get, always get awesome glasses and plenty of swag at the release parties from Duke Law. And I go to them because I'm a drunk. I mean, I'm, I, I'm a beer geek and I like to review beer. But anyway, enough about uh, personal addictions. We're going to pop the cap on this, but, but before we do, Duke Law has some new crowns and they say craft be cherished rules be damned on the top of them. They used to just be black crowns, but now they have these, and these are pretty damn cool. So, and it looks like they've also trademarked that. So anyway, let's get the cap popped and get this in my belly. Oh, one pop, the crown's right out. We're gonna save that one, because we like it. Lots of smoke coming off the top of this. And one important thing to mention, they've got their new brewery up in Abingdon, and Duclaw, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. You are now dating your bottles with an inkjet coder, yellow, right here. And it says 12-14-12, uh, bottle 12-14-12, in yellow ink. You can see it right on the top of it. There's no cryptic code, no bullshit. It's straight up. Thank you, guys. You're freaking awesome. You've just gained another point in your score without me even tasting this beer well out of the bottle anyway. Now, let's get this in the glass and enough geeking out. So we're going to pour it, of course, in our pint glass here because it says sweet baby Jesus on it, so why not? So, man, look at that. Lots of nice active carbonation going on that bad boy. And it says, let's see, the name says it all. Sweet baby Jesus, pop chocolate peanut butter porter. Now, I've let this one warm up. It's already about mm, 52 degrees, I would say. And look at that head formation, guys. Chocolatey, sort of dark khaki head, solid three fingers, really tight bubbles. Slightly rocky up at the top when I swirl it. No big alcohol legs to speak of, but it's 6.5%. You wouldn't expect that. But really tight head. Um, there's just the faintest hints of ruby that come through this beer. It's almost fully opaque, but not fully opaque. Really dark. They use six malts in this and two kinds of hops, so plus the chocolate and peanut butter flavoring in this. Like I said, this came out of the homebrew program, which is, that, that's freaking awesome because that's really where, you know, beer starts at homebrew level. So, let's get a nose on this and see what we got going on. Wow, right off the bat, big, fudgy chocolate in your face. There's also that peanut butter. It smells like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Man, that's exactly what this beer smells like, a Reese's peanut butter cup. If you bite into the Reese's peanut butter cup and then you put your schnoz up in that Reese's peanut butter cup, that's what this smells like. That's freaking awesome. Now, when I had this in the pub, I didn't get that kind of nose. Why? Because the glass sanitizer that they use in the pub always kills the head. And there's there's just no aroma on, those, in, on their beers a lot of times in the pub. Sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't. Maybe they don't have the same sanitizer all the time. I don't know. But I know for a fact, since I used to tend bar and work in pubs, that certain sanitizer will kill all of our own little beers. But this smells like a freaking Reese's peanut butter cup. So let's get a taste on this one, guys. Hmm. 
Damn. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Wow. This is way better than what I had it at the pub. At the pub, it was, it was over carbonated. It was way too fizzy. I didn't get the peanut butter taste. I didn't get the chocolate. It was too cold. I mean, it was super, super cold in the glass. I've let this warm up. Even when I try to warm it up with my hand sitting in the pop, for some reason, because of the maybe they put it on nitro or something, I can't rightly recall because I had a couple beers before that. But anyway, it tastes like a freaking Reese's peanut butter cup. And I love Reese's peanut butter cup, so I'm geeking out on this beer. The mouthfeel, there, first of all, there's no alcohol taste at all, not even in the least, even at 6.5%. This is above session strength. I consider session strength like 6.2% and below. So it's slightly above session strength, but you could session on this beer. I don't know if you'd want to drink more than one of them because it is a quite rich beer. It's very chocolate fudgy and, and really good peanut butter. This is a liquid Reese's peanut butter cup. This could be a dessert in and of itself. Really nice beer. Oh, excuse me. Um, the carbonation is up there a little bit more than some of the Duclaw beers, but all in all, really tasty beer, and I'm, I'm liking it. It's way better in the bottle than on tap, which sometimes happens with beers. So, anyways, what do the other guys say about this? Beer Advocates give it an 84. Rate Beers give it an 89. I'm going to give this one a 92. I'm going to give it a solid A-. minus. The date's on the bottle now. That definitely elevated their grades. It's, it is what it advertises. It says chocolate peanut butter porter. The only thing that could elevate it to the A for me is if it had a little heavier mouthfeel. It's a little thin for my taste. I've let it, it's you know, been put out at the proper temperature now that I'm giving you this review. So anyways, if you guys see this, give it a try. It's, it's worth a try. If you like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, you're going to be geeking out on this beer like I am. It's really yummy. And remember what I say, guys. Think locally. Drink locally. Support the craft beer movement, man. Keep more chocolate peanut butter porters coming out. Keep Deep Dew Claw and your local brewers supporting home brewers and making their homebrew a freaking mainstream beer. That's that's just damn awesome, guys. I mean, and also, you know what? The date's on the bottom now, too. Dew Claw, you guys are great, doing really good. We're liking that us beer geek. So until the next time, remember, thanks a million for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and that's a big what? Oh, damn, that's a big peace out.